In this GoPro tips and tricks video, we're going to be installing the Peak Design Capture and POV Kit onto a backpack. To begin, we're going to take that support pad, place it behind our backpack strap, then we're going to take our capture base plate with the long bolts installed, slide that behind the backpack strap, close it down, and then we're going to tighten the two tension bolts. We're going to alternate which one of them we're tightening to make sure that tension and pressure is evenly applied between the two bolts. We're then going to grab our GoPro, which is mounted onto the base plate, and then we're going to slide this into the peak design capture. Once in, we're going to use the tension screw to tighten down the mount and make sure that there's no vibration within the camera. Now that the camera's mounted, we can pivot the camera back and forth using the top bolt and then up and down with the front bolt. You want to make sure you, cap you point the camera down enough that you capture the tip of your skis but not too much that you don't capture any sky and lose all perspective of where you are going. One last thing is to make sure you tighten down your backpack straps to stop all vibration with the camera. Tight backpack straps and a well-fitting backpack will ensure the clearest video possible. If you guys are interested in picking up a Peak Design mounting system, you can go ahead and check out their website. It's linked in the video description. And if you're going to buy anything using the discount code GOPROTIPS, will give you a 10% discount off anything you buy. The point of view you get from this mount is the same as that that's given using the GoPro chest mount. However, the mount does look a lot more professional and streamlined. The mount is very cool looking compared to the GoPro chest mount, which some people find quite um, displeasing and they kind of just don't want to wear it because it looks pretty dorky. The camera fits very well folded up against uh, backpack straps just because of its design. And personally, I really, I much prefer using my GoPro uh, backpack mounted or chest mounted like this than helmet mounted. I find it's way less likely to get banged and it's way more protective and the view I get from it is uh, one I prefer over the head mounted view. Until next time guys, thank you very much for watching. This is another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos and like the video. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. I will be sure to read them and respond. Most of all, guys, until next time, thanks for watching.